The time has come to redo the interior on the RX-7, so it's gonna be a complete gut, except for like the dash and stuff like that. I'm gonna be ripping out all of the carpet, take the skin off the seats, basically take the upholstery off, the vinyl, the leather, whatever material we wanna pretend it is, but I'm gonna be pulling all of that out and putting new carpets in, new seat skins, so that the car can basically have a better aesthetic and comfort level on the inside uh, to help with the restoration process. But I wanna drive it before I do this, so I wanna pull it down off the rack and drive it around a little bit, enjoy it, get those last little bit of rides in so that while it's out of commission, I don't feel like I missed out on my ability to get some of those last minute drives in. Well, the RX-7 isn't the most powerful car that I've ever owned. It is one of the more fun cars that I have owned. It's, it's just got something about that rotary engine and how low it sits to the ground and the way the steering's set up that it's just a joy to drive. It's very peppy. It, it, it's not gonna win any races but it does zip along all over the road and you feel like you're in a little sports car. Eh, well, technically it is a sports car, but again, it's not like a modern sports car where you're gonna be just blowing the doors off of things, having tremendous torque, having tremendous you know, top speeds and zero to 60 times and stuff like that. But it is a fun little car to drive. This is, this is why I want to take it out for one last drive before I rip out the interior. I want to get the fun in. I want to have the enjoyment of driving this car, get a little more car time in with the RX-7 before I tear down the interior and have it out of commission for a while. So I'm getting my fun in. peppy off the go when you're running that manual transmission through the gears it's very peppy and it gets it gets going and it is a joy to drive I, I have to admit I do like loading up the engine and letting those RX-7 pops come out of the exhaust if you're familiar with it you get that engine loaded up and you go pop 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 The carpet kit for the RX-7 came from Auto Custom Carpets. I found them online. They do a lot of work with the RX-7 community. And uh, they had these great setups where you can basically pick out the fabric that you're wanting. You can pick out like how thick you want to have it, what color you want to have it. It's all molded to the car like it's supposed to be. So they're made specifically for RX-7s. And I went ahead and picked out this color here so that it could match close to what was currently in the car, as well as the interior choice that I was gonna go with. Again, like I said, these are all molded to the car. You can select how much sound deadening and insulation that you wanna have. And you know, all of this, you know, is gonna reflect in the price. But if you're looking to have something that's gonna be correct on how it's cut and molded, and on the color pattern this was really one of the better choices that i could have went with it's been sitting up in my uh overhead racks in the garage for a bit now and uh i've got them down now and as i could tell you know if they sit for a while they're going to have these folds in them so before i put them in i'm going to let them sit in the sun and uh and let them kind of soften up a little bit before trying to put them into the car the weather stripping in the RX-7 is pretty toasted in the doors. And so I went ahead and got new weather stripping for 
the uh, the doors and so that everything can be back to how it's supposed to be again this is all pre-cut it's it's designed for this first gen rx7 it's got all the push tabs and stuff like that so it'll make it real simple to get all this installed and make those doors seal up exactly as they should same setup here with the seats now i ordered the oh hello blue you wanted to be in today's video <laughs> So I ordered these from Racing Beat, and again, they work in the RX-7 community, and ordered these where you design them for how you wanna have them from how you wanna have the insert, to what material you wanna have, to what color you wanna have. And I went with uh, the vinyl all around. I didn't wanna do any kind of tweed or anything like that. So these work really well, and I'm very impressed when you look at these, they've got all kinds of extra cushion and uh, insulation and stuff like that. And the material came out real nice, so I'm very happy with that. I really can't complain on the, on the job that they did. It came with all the hardware necessary. I'm pretty happy with how they set this up, and it should look pretty nice once they're in the car. You didn't know there was going to be a math problem, but there's cat math. How many cats does this equal? When I'm sitting here making a game plan on how I'm gonna approach this project, obviously I'm gonna wanna take both seats out. So that's gonna be the first thing I do is I'm gonna pull those seats out because I wanna get the carpet in before doing any of the seat work, but the seats have to come out irregardless for the seat work itself, but it just makes sense to pull those out first. What I'm noticing is when I'm looking at the center console here, I'm noticing that the carpet goes underneath and behind it, and it looks like it goes all the way across the transmission tunnel on both sides, so it's one full piece, just like it was in the replacement one that I showed you earlier. So I'm curious as to how much of this I'm going to need to pull out in order to do that carpet job. Uh, is it something that's gonna be outside of my abilities? No, but is it something outside of what I'm wanting to do? Most likely, yes, but it has to be done. When I'm looking at the door here, as you can see, the previous owner had a big speaker in here and before they sold it, they put this kind of like janky looking patch on here and that's fine because the, the rest of the vinyl is pretty toasted. As you can see, it's, it's coming apart here and it's ripped up here. Uh, it's very faded and just worn. A lot of the accessories uh, underneath the door latches and what have you are also you know, well past their lifespan. So those are things that are gonna have to be done as well. But this carpet here, I noticed it's got a few stains in it. It's not necessarily going to match the new carpet so I may reach out to the company that I had with the carpet and see if I can get like small patches of carpet so that I can blend them back in there. If I'm unable to do that, I'll just do vinyl all the way down. To make sure that the vinyl for the seats matches the vinyl of the doors, I'm gonna reach back out to Racing Beat and see if that's something that they can help me with. I don't wanna have to buy a whole new door skin. I don't think that's something that I'm gonna need to do, but if I wanna try and make it myself, I'm gonna see if I can wrap that with the vinyl here. If Racing Beat's unable to get that for me, then I'm gonna head on down to my local, you know, craft store and pick up some vinyl that matches and go from there. Also, shout out to my son for this key holder that he made in shop class and uh, I thought I'd use it. So I got it up in the garage and Whenever I'm out here working on stuff, I'll hang some of the car keys on there so it makes it easy and I don't have to like, you know, toss them on the tool table or run in the house to go get them. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. This is a project that's been needing to be done for some time now. I have everything I needed. So now is the time to pull the trigger on this. Keep an eye out as I go about replacing the interior with the carpet and the seats. I'm sure it's going to present its own level of problems. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, hit that like button.